Central, it's Rebecca, and today, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be looking at the Harry Potter Rising Quill. The first thing I've got to note is this box. It is gorgeous. Hogwarts Rising Quill, and you have the Hogwarts Castle, and just, oh my god, it looks beautiful. Oh, and it has yellow ribbon all keeping it together. I have a feeling this is Hufflepuff inspired. <laughs> da, 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 da. Get out the way. First thing I've got to do is get this quill out. It's amazing. It looks beautiful. It feels really weird. Don't know if you can see it there, but you can, there's like a red spot here, and then there's like red here. Um, there's like little little bits of discoloration, which I don't think should be there. Um, but apart from that, it's really really nice. Um, that's the nib. Because my camera doesn't want to focus. So that's the quill pen. Then you've got this, which is the stand, the quill stand. And it's got the Hogwarts. Oh, sorry, you got it. The Hogwarts logo here. Then you've got the Harry Potter um, logo. So yeah, and you've also got like little pads that shows it will not scratch up your surfaces, which is great. It's got a nice weight to it, it's not too heavy and it's not too light either, so it won't just fall over. So that's lovely. And it also comes with a bottle of ink in here as well. And it's just plain black ink. Um, I haven't opened this yet. It has something on the lid, I can't quite see it. Um, I think it's just the, the, the like, ink. Maybe. Okay, so this is the bottom of the box. It's only got the Harry Potter name here with like the Warner Brothers um, stamp down here. And then it's got Think Geek, which you guys already know what I think of Think Geek. It's amazing and I love it completely. Now something that I've noticed in other reviews of this product is they've only shown the quill that comes with the set. But lucky for me, I actually have another quill which my grand bought me years ago. I don't even remember how old I was when my grand bought me this, um, but it has survived a lot and I've used it so much, so it, I just thought it would be nice to kind of give you a comparison between um, the Harry Potter quill and just another type of quill really. Um, so obviously this is the one that came in the set and actually you can kind of tell that it's plasticky because if you listen... That's the sound that you get from the kind of the plastic fibres, if you will, from the quill. And this is what you get from a actual, because this, this is a real feather. This is a real feather. This is what you get from the real feather. It's a lot softer. So I personally think this has been made of plastic and complete plastic, not, you know, not actually anything real. Um, which I think is a real shame. I so now I'm going to show you the comparison between my quill and the Harry Potter replica. But in order to make it fair, I'm going to have to change this nib to this nib. I apologise for it looking so black, it's just the fact that I've used it so much. Now I tried to write, always be a fan of all of your animals, but because I'm not used to writing with this nib anymore, I've kind of moved on to another nib. Um, I kind of smudged everything, plus I'm left handed and plus I suck at writing. So that is what it is trying to say, it's not the quill's fault, that is actually my handwriting and I apologise. And it grew till the castle stood tall by the shores of a lake. And a thousand years later, the magic remains. Old Hogwarts 
So as you can see, both quills actually have good points and bad points. Um, I am very, very impressed with this quill because of how easily it actually runs. It's very smooth. It's like writing with a fountain pen. It's really, really nice. I got a lot more defined letters, even though it's still a bit rubbish. And um, there are a load more of defined letters with this quill than with this quill and I think the reason is that this is a brand new nib it's never been used before um, and this one here is very very old and it's been used and there's old ink on it which I think doesn't help when it clogs up everything and I have actually tried to clean the nib it's just it's just completely welded onto the nib the old ink is welded onto the nib so I can't get it off so I think that's why well that's one of the reasons anyway that's um, this one's so easy to ride with compared to this one. However, I would have liked it if this nib was removable because then if it broke, you could go out and buy another nib and then you'd be fine. Um, but if that broke, then you can't use the quill again, which I think is a real shame, shame unless you're just going to stand it on display and not use it at all, then you're fine. This is the normal nib that I use on my quill, and I just thought for fun, I'm just going to show you what it looks like when I write with it. When things look bad and there's nowhere to run, unite all the houses and we'll fight as one. Like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become one of our fanimals, and remember, always be a fanimal of your animals.